Bill Nee seems like this is an opportunity to have Paul Moore as a facilitator role. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that um, this was good tonight because Paul was in some situations that I think he was looking to create, and we've got to find ways in some different areas to get into some gaps and some, some, some holes that he can facilitate and get the ball. So maybe that's not leading to a shot, but the ball getting into that gap is allowing the guy to make the next pass that leads to the shot. I thought we got hurt a little bit in, in the third quarter with that, where they were really being aggressive with the ball, and he needed to facilitate to the middle of the floor. And we probably needed to do a better job of facilitating, you know, some more catches in that area of the floor so that we could get it to the backside. Billy, they started 0 for 7 from 3, and then I think they went 6 of 9 after that. Were they getting the same looks and they're just going down, or, or did they? Were they getting better looks? Well, I, I think what, what ended up happening was our turnovers and and uh, a couple transitions of not getting back allowed them to get out and I think get some of those quicker threes. Um, you know, those are the ones where I think we could have done a better job because uh, a few areas I thought were going to be important for our team. One is going to be transition defense. Two is going to be rebounding the basketball. And then three, taking care of it. So some of our missed shots, and there were a lot of them because we didn't shoot the ball particularly well, you're going to have some situations where you're not going to be able to get back and balance the floor, turnover, not back and balance the floor. I think a lot of their threes came from those situations where they caught it on the break and they shot it. And uh, listen, those are hard shots when you're on the floor full speed and you're catching and shooting like that. So you got to give them credit for making the shots, you know, in, in, in that time frame of the game there, especially, um, you know, to get to get back when they were down 11 and then certainly most of the third quarter. To make shots tonight, why do you think that was? Just one of those nights, you know I mean? Um, okay. I'm a firm believer in the law of averages. You know I mean? There's going to be nights like this. Uh, it just happens. You know, some nights it's like, some nights you can shoot 35%, some nights you shoot 60 which is how it goes. How difficult was it just not knowing what position you were going to play, who was going to be beside you? There were a lot of different lineups tonight. Yeah, um, I mean, a lot of different lineups, but luckily, you know, we drill a lot of different stuff, so... You know, I felt like we were prepared um, in terms of X's and O's. And like you said, shots just didn't fall for us tonight. Just wasn't on that. What's what's shoot around like in a game for like the rest of you guys when you don't know if no one's going to play and if Russ is going to play? How's that? How's that approach? Uh, I mean, you have an idea of. Um, you know, it, it's out there that, hey, maybe they will, maybe they won't. So, you, you know, it just takes a little extra focus knowing multiple positions, being ready for whatever scenario comes up. And, um, that's just part of being a pro. You know what I mean? You never know what each game is going to be like, so you have to be prepared for all situations.